Hi everyone, it's Vanka and uh, this one is uh, a true junk journal, I promise. Uh, this is made completely out of uh, things uh, most people will would uh, uh, throw in their trash. And uh, this is also for a swap over at the junk journal, Junkies, and it's called Junkie Scraps junk journal and I was uh, partnered with Sue again and um, I was uh, uh, really looking forward to this one uh, and I had some things in mind that I wanted to uh, use uh, for the cover of this journal but uh, I would have to say uh, the biggest challenge for me on this one was the size uh, because it was uh, um, supposed to be between 6 by 4 inches up to 8 by 5 uh, and uh, I had several uh, book covers and some paper bags and uh, different uh, junk out of packaging and things that I really liked but uh, I couldn't make them work for that size because they were uh, wider I think or taller and uh, it, no they didn't fit and um, so I was thinking what to do what to do and I found um, this um, journal in my drawer at work so um, I think you might call call this um, an altered book, I'm not sure, but um, uh, what I have done is uh, taking an old journal from uh, my work that I used, it's from 2001, <laughs> I can't believe I have kept it for so long, but uh, uh, I used it uh, up to uh, March that year because I had a baby so I uh, uh, was home for the rest of the year and uh, so I ripped out the pages and a lot of other things uh, too uh, because this was a, a fat uh, book it had uh, a lot of other things inside too so you will see uh, but um, the uh, requirements for uh, this journal was uh, uh, that it should be made completely from recycled items like uh, book pages, magazine pages, used envelopes and uh, uh, it should have tags. Uh, we could make the tags uh, out of junk or scraps and uh, we could use some cut out of lace or tatty bits embellishments on the tags from our stash so um, I'm not sure what I think of this <laughs> because you know before uh, when we start uh, making this we don't know who our partner is and uh, most of you know that um, I really like to personalize my journals and um, um, when I saw I was part partnered with Sue I was thinking maybe she won't like this but um, that's how it is we don't know who our partner will be so it will be what, will, what it is and uh, as you see I have I haven't glued this on yet and um, the only thing in this journal that's not um, trash or junk are these letters. They are sticky letters, metal, uh, or they look like metal, but they have double-sided tape on the back. Uh, so that's from my scrapbook stash. And uh, this heart, I think it's very pretty. Uh, I will glue it down. Uh, and uh, I will uh, um, post a picture after this video when I have uh, finished the cover but uh, it's um, knitted and uh, uh, it was uh, made uh, in a wedding 
uh, as uh, it had my name on it uh, so it was uh, for the placement around the tables you know so it's wool it's very soft and you see she has uh, the bride <laughs> i believe uh, she has made them and uh, uh, on the back you can see the string where she has uh, uh, made all these uh, things here. So I put uh, um, Sue's name on here and uh, I will uh, glue it down. And um, this one is uh, a charm that was on an old purse of mine. And um, this is uh, a belt that I didn't use anymore so I just cut it out off and uh, made a couple of uh, extra uh, holes in it so it's glittery and I think it uh, fitted and uh, uh, the journal was red plastic red really not very <laughs> not what I would like to have given away so I um, I backed it with the wallpaper and uh, I really like uh, the look of this this wallpaper and it's also it takes a lot more than ordinary paper it's very strong uh, with fibers this one and also the back is plain and you see it's, it's already bound with these rings and I don't have a, a, a binder take this off it's no noisy I don't have this binder machine so and I uh, I have also as a goal to uh, make uh, different bindings on my journal so I will flip through and I will uh, start by saying a lot of things I have used in here are things that uh, has been given me by different people and I can't tell you all the names because it would take a long time but thank you everyone and then um, and this inside here is just a uh, cut out from an old calendar it's uh, this and um, Geddes, I don't know how you say it. baby, you know, these images here, and it fitted uh, very well in the, in the plastic uh, pocket here. And it has a sticker, this be book belongs to, and this is cutouts from magazines, and also this one, and this is from a, a paper pad, the name of the paper. This was just a plastic card that was in a wallet. I bought and these uh, are original pages from the book. I just kept them because it has uh, different uh, phone numbers for the uh, countries around the world and uh, here are the time lines. And this is the packaging uh, from corn and this is the negative out of this uh, sticker here. And I have just made it tabs uh, from different materials. This is uh, some from my uh, stash as well uh, because we were allowed to use those on tags and this tag uh, you will see uh, several of them are images I have printed and not been happy with because they are kind of blurry and this is uh, from a uh, uh, this is a perfume stick for example when you go to buy perfume and you test those and have, I have sprayed them and I have put some of them inside here these are just cut from magazine and another negative from some sticker again and uh, this is from a tea bag and all the stickers and even all the washi tapes inside here are things I have taken off left you know envelopes and things that have been sent to me this is a used uh, matchbox box upside down <laughs> kept out from a magazine and I thought this was funny it was for packaging from soap and glory and it says we are having a lot of fun at soap and glory please recycle whatever and whenever you can how fitting in this journal and this is a um, button bag and I gave her this uh, that we used in October from, for the breast cancer thing so it was mine but now it, so you can have it 
because you know I like to add things. And um, here we have a paper bag, and um, it was quite big, so I folded it. And this is uh, from a plastic uh, shopping bag. It says it's all about you, unique. And um, this is also from a magazine. And it has some more perfume sample and some stickers inside. I have this old card I got years ago when I bought a new place. And this <laughs> uh, looks like a house. It's money. And it even has uh, the original um, uh, from those who gave it to me. So, so almost a vintage. And more magazine cutouts to see this very bright neon color here. This is uh, also a uh, price tag and some, I think this was from uh, packaging too. And uh, this is from a pizza box and this is from some wrapping paper and just magazine cutouts and this is from a... Uh, Cookie and well, packaging stuff, lots of, lots of them. And this is uh, kind of funny because it was an old, um, very old notebook that my uh, daughter had. And she wasn't old, she was uh, kindergarten, maybe five, I don't know. And I kept that, she had scribbled on some of them. And look, did you know? Do you know why um, kids uh, often write uh, uh, numbers uh, um, like mirrored? Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> Look, she, her name is Lisa. <laughs> she could write that. But um, uh, uh, a lady that worked in the kindergarten told me because um, when a kid see uh, a letter or a number, uh, they. Um, see the same as if it was a cup or any item so for they it doesn't matter if the cup is uh, to the right or to the left so that's why they uh, draw the numbers uh, the wrong way they uh, often do that this is uh, some um, tape that has some packet oh this is also from a packaging better yourself and this too from uh, some tabs and this was uh, some uh, tags that I had printed out and um, more cutouts from magazines so I just um, cut some of these pages because uh, to make it more interesting not only <laughs> these are from my shoes it was in shoebox Jeffrey Campbell so. and some of my dyed paper and I just uh, like this advertising here made some tabs and you see it's just junk <laughs> oh, and this is a plastic bag there is some nothing inside but it says never too busy to be beautiful and look at this this is something my kids made years ago it's this um, shrimp uh, plastic and it's a mermaid uh, brushing her hair uh, so I found that and this is also from an envelope and uh, this is from a napkin I had bought and it flips up and this earring my daughter gave me because she had three and she didn't know where she got the third one from so there must have been a mistake from the packaging or anything so just put that inside of here so um, stickers I have peeled off uh, things scrap lovers and this is uh, a part of an invitation that my kids got 
Now this side that's not Brickman, super cute. And um, so there, there are so much different things in here. This is from a candy bag and another image from a magazine, a tea bag, a little tag. Just cut out more of the good stuff. Uh, uh, envelope and this is from a coffee filter and the uh, inside it's just a magazine kept out and more per perfume <laughs> stuff and uh, there is that a corner of an envelope with a stamp and some words and an old envelope with Winnie the Pooh inside And the other side, and here is uh, a runner, and um, this was gifted to me by Robin, a uh, playing card, and so it looks like she runs in the woods, and a uh, tag that I uh, didn't like the stamping on, so, doily. From my old sticker collection, these are also negatives from uh, tags, cutouts, return to sender, and all kinds of things, book pages, and um, old ephemera, and this is from a very old drawing from my work, and I uh, glued these are the negative side in, inside of the envelope and an old card for bride and groom and I found this in some pack, uh, magazine this love hearts candies and I uh, glued on some uh, packaging paper memories this one is actually uh, nail polish I tried the um, marble thing with nail polish. It's a big one, that's a pizza from a pizza box. And another tag, billet, that's Norwegian and means a ticket. And some chocolate wrapping stuff. And uh, wouldn't be all. Uh, I would really like to, uh, a door like this, secret door. And, uh, um, things, just some tags, and these are also from a paper pad. And this is an envelope, and inside are just some pictures of uh, hotels in my town and uh, from areas around here. Puzzles, and uh, she is called Nemi. Sleep is good, and books are better. More of this chocolate paper glues it down. This is uh, from the jelly bean package. Lori sent me, and we ate them all. <laughs> this to her, her when she works with paste and stuff, modeling paste. 
name was this is from a chocolate and it was gifted a little heart with um, a box with chocolate inside cutouts from a pretty stamped envelope and this is a very old Norwegian it's the uh, you see the writing and it's gothic and uh, the book was from 1896 so I thought maybe you can use it in her projects and here we have more you see this is just paper and pens that we that when we buy shoes more old paper for transparency uh, from my work, all drawings, just cutouts from magazines, and again, uh, <laughs> nail polish experiment. And this is the uh, fabric, it's just too much of a good thing, it can be wonderful. And this is a uh, clothing, clothing tag, and uh, I love, love, love this picture from our mountains so looking at this makes me go walk in the mountains soap and glory tag save water come clean and this is an envelope and this is a little napkin from my favorite hotel that you place under your coffee cup glued on just on the wrapping paper and I have gessoed over some book paper and this braille paper and a gift bag and this says notes it was from a old telephone book Norwegian flag these are some handmade paper that um, I couldn't use I had made something out of it and um, it didn't work out. Another tea bag with a tag inside. Making room for personality from a magazine. And this is a coffee cup, which I have just opened up. Because when, if I buy uh, coffee in, with these, they are very thin, so they get very hot. So I always ask for two double cups. Is it? And I have just punched out some butterflies. These are her hand hearts. These are from pizza box. The same pizza box. Books. I guess you could guess lasagna. <laughs> and this uh, is from the same project with all the paper. So I just chucked it in here. A little cute monkey with a tag. Another another picture from a hometown. And this is from candy, uh, a candy box. And uh, I usually uh, save these. I love these. And you can guess. And this says also guess. So I think you know what's inside of it in here. It's a mirror. I haven't glued it down because then she can take it out if she wants to. And uh, here we come to the pages uh, I talked about because they are more um, uh, work related. It's, uh, it's about piping and stuff. And this is the box from the box the chocolates were inside. So. It has a window, and uh, these are um, from uh, an old um, phone book. And um, I took out the pages that has my name and my address and a map, and maybe let's see if she can find me. <laughs> oh, that was just for fun advertising for some pipes. And uh, these are also a table where you can change uh, uh, from different systems uh, I'm not sure uh, if you in the US use or the same 
terms that we do, but here are some factors to make. Yes, we have conclusional <laughs> advertising on the bottom panel. Glassine bag and these are also negatives from file folders and book pages and bits of stuff and some sheeps. <laughs> And uh, this one is also a place card from a um, party. And uh, my name is under here, so I just uh, glued on some washi tape. And all of these uh, blurry tags I painted. And a uh, little envelope. And this is a bookmark. It says Viola, eight years. She has grown it. It was some free stuff that came in the mail, I can't remember. And a tag. Some more mountains and stuff from around. And I just really like these. Was some advertising as well. And these tabs are made from packaging. It takes a long time to grow young because this is also an invitation my daughter's got. So it opens like this, sparkly, <laughs> it's pretty. And uh, so I glued down the page that uh, had writing on it. And this is uh, the nail poli polish uh, experiment of mine. Some marbling. For fun. This is wood. More cut outs and uh, an envelope with some uh, a little scrap of uh, packaging paper, gift paper. And in the end, it's just a magazine, but I like. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it is the leaf life in your years, Abraham Lincoln. And this is a um, bit in here because you can see it's very red. And uh, uh, she can win something if she participates in this. She can win a three nights stay in your choice of the apartments in Dubai, Berlin or New Jersey vote for the best apartment so this is my 100% <laughs> junk journal for soup so uh, let's just hope that um, she likes it I don't know I don't know but um, I'm not sure. I kind of like it, but uh, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, it is what it is, and uh, it was fun to make after all. So I will get this in the mail for Sue. So thank you so much for watching, everyone, and until next time. I hope you're well. Bye.